Well, let's get going. So right now, what's the plan, shall we say? What's the plan? I guess you're moving off. I wasn't planning to keep you, was I? No, you're crap. All right, so I think in this episode, we've gone around, you know, for a little while doing some stuff. I really should have this guy in this uh, room, but um, I need to make him a prison, you know, an actual like prison room, shall we say. So maybe that's what I'll do. And I'm thinking that um, the best way probably to deal with that would probably be like maybe to like, you know, make one. So looking at my map here, um, I basically have like, you know, a fairly good corridor of like, you know, land basically like make stuff in. I dug out a little bit of this mountain here to do, do some stuff. One thing about doing it is I'm planning to make like some, like maybe some rows of houses up here perhaps. And maybe like over here we'll have like a dime room. And like uh, this area over here I'll turn maybe into like a, a makeshift prison for any like, you know, guys we have. But for now... Let's start planning. So, plan. Place planning the designations. They, these don't uh, do anything except help you with your future expansion. So, right now, basically, I've got, like, you know, a little bit of stuff over here. And we'll just mark this off, like, you know... Basically, down here. We got, like, basically all this stuff. Up here, above this line, this is where we're going to start maybe putting some houses. And I want to have, like, you know, a little bit of, like, you know, space basically around here to start, like, defending against, like, invaders and such. Might want to make use of this geothermal vent. I figure in this area right here is where we'll basically start making off a little bit of housing, so... Let's start looking into that, perhaps. Alright, down here we basically have a bunch of limestone blocks, a lot, a lot of sandstone blocks. I think we're going to make ourselves some marble. We don't have any marble. We're just going to make ourselves some limestone stuff, I think, for housing. And eventually I'll probably remove this stuff here. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'd be a big 10 by 10 wall if I, or you know, a 10 by wall if I did it like that. When we get the chance to mine this stuff out. And if I put some more up here. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Basically, I'm doing like this, like, you know, long walls like this. And the idea right here is that I'm going to have, like, you know, some housing is basically going to be, like, you know, taking up this area. So, we've got a 10 by 10 wall here. We'll let me go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's going to be a house right there. That'll be another house right here. And basically, it's going to make some houses, you know, as it sucks, basically. I'll make a two, uh... Hmm. I did, I did it wrong. I actually want to have like this. Planning! It's always a fun thing, you know? You have to do it right the first time. There we go. I keep doing it wrong, but whatever. So I want to go basically seven over. Ten. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five. It's six over. I 
I really suck at this, but whatever. There's like, you know, the, the basic, you know, plan ideas for like my housing. Doing it like this is basically like, you know, gonna make things a little bit easier. I think, in the long run. And while we're at it, let's just uh, think about where we're going to do this. I'm going to have, on top of all this stuff here, maybe right here, like, you know, I'll have, like, you know, uh... We'll just basically do this. We're going to have, like, a rec room slash dining room area over here. Like so. Those two will also be bedrooms at some point, but um, yeah, this will be like the big, like you know, bedroom type of thing over here. At some point, I'll probably mine to the mountain over here for some stuff. All right, now I need to have some doors. Now I want to note something, by the way. The one of the reasons I'm like sort of making these like fairly big, like say in comparison to everything else, like these are like bedrooms. Something knows that all your like guys have like sort of like mood debuffs depending like um you know, what type of, like, you know, situation they're in. Right now, as you can see, these guys have, like, a negative debuff for being in a shared bedroom. They also have, um, you know, other stuff basically happening as well. Disturbing sleep because people are, like, going around, you know, disturbing your sleep as nearby. Stuff like that. You want to basically have a lot of space for their bedrooms when you actually start making them because um, your, your colors will actually get a mood increase if they're in, like, really spacious bedrooms. Or they'll get, like, a mood decrease if they're in really, like, cramped ones. So... I think the thing is like they have to have like um, 21 spaces in order not to get a mood debuff. And if you look at these ones basically I have like, you know, um, just going to do this temporarily. I have like a space of like 5 by 8 so it would be 40 spaces here. Which is going to give them a little bit of like, you know, space to just move around and do some stuff in. Nothing too bad. Now, I wish I could, like, say Destiny these like, is, like, not being constructed right, right away, but, uh, I don't think there's, like, anything to say, like, you know, in the game, don't, like, touch this yet. So, my guys are basically just gonna go up and try and, like, you know, construct these when they get a chance. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make some limestone doors, I guess. We'll do them like this for now. We'll put that there, put that right there. Mine that up for now. And we're also gonna put like, you know, a limestone door basically around here and here. You know, so my calls can get into his stuff. Put one right there, put one right here. Eh. Put a couple right there, right there. At some point, you know, I'll start mining out this stuff, but this will be some good, you know, ideas, basically. You have an idea what I'm planning to do. All right, so I'm basically a constructor. So I basically want to make sure I'm like always constructing. I have like a little bit of food in here going on for now. We're just going to take myself off cooking. Leave the cooking to mana, really. And I might get Boss Gallagher to start doing some cooking as well at some point if um, he's basically, you know, lacking stuff to do. Spork, Spork will just basically keep on crafting um, rocks for us basically to deal with. Really, I'll take these off because I'm not, we're not uh, worrying about that right now. It kind of sucks I lost Cornish because that would have made things a lot easier for, like, you know, moving stuff around. And this guy, the guy here, he um, he's gonna be useful, but what to do with him? I don't know, really. I guess he's a doctor. That's a good thing about Ren, by the way. He's a uh, he's got good medical. I have to watch out for this guy, by the way. He does have like some issues. Like you know, he's in he's uncomfortable. He slept on the ground. He's feeling bad. He's in a hideous environment. He's not having a good day. I guess he's good at social, this is what he's going to be good for, so... He'll probably be our warden when, I get, when he gets around to it, Ren. I won't have to need the need, um, man to do it because this guy is going to be like so much better. A warden and, a, and you know, a doctor is what he's basically going to be all about. 
I guess it'll be a craft at some point too. All right, well, let's unpause it and get going. So I'm going to start building stuff as soon as possible. Wow, nice, we just got Ren. Nice job, mana. All right, so now that basically that's done, I can take off um, mana from doing the, uh, the warring stuff because, you know, he's not the best warden. Uh, I, I really don't have a whole lot of use for this guy. He's um, gonna be good at hauling, I guess. And I guess I can make him cook for the moment. But he doesn't have a whole lot of useful skills. At least Boss Galaga, I could get him mine if I need to, but. Probably have you mining too when I need to, too. All right, well, let's just get going, I guess. There we go, starting to construct stuff. This man is buying a little bit over there, getting that stuff out of the way. Mine that stuff right there. Think about, do I want him doing anything, man? Because he could be re researching hospital beds. Hospital beds are pretty important, but um, I guess we can hold off and have him mine out the rest of this stuff, you know, to get out of the way. So get that out of the way for now. I'll have to mine a Civil War II at some point. But we'll get him just to mine this stuff out of the way. You know, I might start hauling the blocks up here. Let's uh, make ourselves a stockpile of blocks. Just blocks. And the purpose for this is this is going to make it a little bit easier to get to this stuff, so... Storage, we'll clear this all, and we're just going to put raw resources blocks, or... Yeah, stone blocks, right up here. The purpose is, make, is just so I can get easier access to this stuff. Down here, we'll just basically... Um, turn off stone blocks. I guess we have stockpiles or steel up here. Not sure I really care about the steel being there, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about it for now, I guess. Ah, the steel's from down here, cool. That's uh, okay, I guess. Let's um, actually film with this stuff up here, though. We're gonna make, maybe move some of this like stone here. Move all that down to the stockpile. You know, think about it, I should probably make sure I can get by there. And we all went to sleep, that's fine. We're allowed to go to sleep. Looks like Spork woke up for a bit, that's fine. Just make sure you're not a night owl, right? No, you're just everything else, that's fine. Alright, now something I actually think about, I really should be putting this down a little bit lower than uh, one degree. We'll put that down to negative one. That's just so I stuff for refrigerates in here, like it gets frozen. Like corpses. No one should be in there long, so it should be fine. As is. Looks like we're relaxing socially over here, that's fine. And I'll think about, I really should have a little, someone cleaning this stuff, so... Let's actually have Boss Gala do some cleaning.
all that stuff out. It's probably a 20% chance of recruiting Ren, that's cool. And while, I, while I'm at it, I should probably make sure I should note this. So you actually have a home or area. I've actually expanded this a little bit, but it's worth knowing your home area is like where like you basically clean, like, you know, put up fires and stuff like that. Let's just make sure, you know, I'm basically cleaning up everything in this area, more or less. Quick man has gone back to deal up to get to steal down here. It's fine. Slowly just digging it away. And boss guy will go finish that off, and then man will go get back to research. I may want to think about you know specializing a bit more with his crops to soon, but for now we're doing fine with what we got. Think about it, these sleeping spots can probably go. We don't really need them there. Oh, oh, I went to sleep down there, so we're done in construction for a day. Well, things are going along pretty smoothly. We're making some progress making, you know, actual housing units, shall we say, for sleeping in and such. All's pretty good. I don't know why we're visiting Cornish's grave. I don't know if Ren had any connection to him. Apparently he's the wife of Sam, who is the fashion leader for the Outlander town, apparently. That's cool. Now, I should probably make this guy a name. Who should I name him after? Post if you, if you want, basically, this guy to be named after, you know, your character or something like that, I guess, at some point. And there's the hospital beds. Excellent. Um, let's look into maybe getting... The multi-analyzer might be nice to get. I got the, some gold to basically make use of it, so... Basically, if I build this, it'll let me speed up my research. So we'll get that going. And we got enough room here to basically do this. And this. Might as well do that. Cornish, right? Yeah, your, your friend Cornish died. I'm gonna have to get basically um, him into his own bedroom, Boss Galaga, so. Let's just make sure this is done. I wish there was a better way of doing this, but I need to get this done right away, so... I'm not assigned to pluck clank any, so that won't happen, but... Alright, there we go, that's done. Um, I need to get Boss Galaga's bed moved up to, um... Owners were Spork and Oaf. I forgot, Spork is an Oaf. Alright, let's put um, Boss Galaga's bed up here so that, you know, he'll basically be up there. 
when I get around, I want, want to basically have maybe some, like, you know, limestone or marble tiles or something, so... I don't think I have any marble, so it'll probably just be limestone tiles. Well, whatever. Basically, it's just done, so I can just have uh, Boss Galaga sleep up here. I basically have to prioritize moving his bed. Boss Gallo is to sleep up here tonight. And he'll have his own bedroom. I should probably make sure whoever is working here will basically focus on limestone chunks. So do that. And you know what? I just built a bunch of limestone doors instead of all doors, like an idiot. That's my bad, but oh well. I guess we'll start building some floors of like, you know, sandstone, I guess, in here perhaps. Or maybe I'll build them out of slate or something else. I suppose this dining room really shouldn't. Use sandstone down for this stuff. Still isn't great, so I guess I'll just put it up here. That's where steel can go. Wood will degrade, but you know. Alright, he's basically gonna be sleeping in his own bedroom, so he's gonna have less modifiers happening. That's gonna be good for him. I guess the cloth parka is hurting him a little bit. He's gonna have to. Get something else, perhaps. We'll get to that at some point. I got food poisoning. That sucks. You know, think about. Let's give these guys some stools, basically, for working on stuff. Ooh, an eclipse. Well, that's unfortunate. And Eclipse basically knocks out my solar generators for a little bit. Not much I can do about that. I got some battery power though, so it's all fine, I guess, for that. Nope, oh, gonna make my, um, you know, stools, because that's all I can make right now. Now, I'm not sure if this helps out making stools for you guys to sit on while they're basically working on stuff, but... Hopefully it helps with comfort or something like that. Hmm, the tree died in there, I guess. Trees can die, by the way, if they don't have light and stuff. Alright, there's the multi-analyzer, that's cool. Doing a good job there, man. Let's keep it up. Um... I'm not really sure if I really need to focus on anything here. The Drill Thermal Power might, might be the best thing to go after, so we'll work on that maybe next, but... Not a whole lot I need to focus on. We'll just expand this out a little bit. Man, I can work on all that. You know, I forgot I had torches down here and not power stuff, so... I'll probably expand power all the way down there at some point. Don't have auto doors down there. I only have them, like, over here. Excellent. Alright, let's uh, start moving some stuff. We'll basically reinstall this in here. That there.
That'll look all pretty good when we get to it. And good, some limestone blocks. We ran out of power because of the Eclipse, by the way. My batteries only last so long, unfortunately. Not much I can do about it. Man, I got food poisoning, oh well. I'm building a door. And it looks like the winners have come to raid us. It looks like they want to use sappers to turn around your defenses. All right, so sappers are something I have to watch out for. Um, you haven't really seen it, but these guys can't butt on um, tunnel through terrain if they want. And it's very possible they might, like, you know, tunnel through this part of the rock over here if they want to. Without me being able to do much about it. Okay, you're non-violent, so you can't fight. I'm basically only got three fighters at this point. I only have Mana, Defuxa, or myself, and Boss Galaga to basically fight with. So it's going to be a free on free fight. This guy's got a sniper rifle, this guy's got a steel club, and that guy's got himself grenades. Some fun stuff. Yeah, so look at that, he's going to dig a sandstone, this guy. That's their plan, they're going to dig through the sandstone if possible. Okay, we're going to draft um, us again. And we'll let the battle begin, so to speak. Not sure where he's going to dig around to sandstone, but if possible, I want to basically get after him, so... We'll start moving and get to him. Crap, he's slow because of food poisoning. Um, I guess they're going to get through here before I even have a chance to do anything, so we'll have to come down. And wait for him. I realize you're sick, but please move! Mm. We're basically going to shoot this guy as soon as he gets through. Uh oh, move away. Good thing he's gonna blow himself up, that's fine with me. God damn it, Deep. Well, I'm just gonna have a mood debuff as a result of that, but oh well. Holy crap, I got shot to death. He sniper rifled me right to the torso. I got hit by the, in the heart. Well, that's what I get for not being behind cover. Funny how he immediately ran away, ran away as soon as he saw that grenade. There goes my corpse. That's one bad thing about grenades, by the way. They can't blow up stuff, and it just blew all that stuff up. Okay, you're gonna go up here. Let's engage with Malie. Well, he's down. He's dead. We got him. He can't get to us, which is nice, so we're gonna be able to melee this guy and then maybe shoot this guy as he runs away. Oh, they're fleeing. He's fast. Not sure why he's so fast, but whatever. I can't really do anything about it. 
You're gonna be our captive, I, I guess, because uh, you killed my guy. Me. You bastard. And that's unfortunate. Game really did me in with that, you know, shot to the heart. Boom, I'm dead. Oh well. We'll set him in here, I guess. Let's get you to prioritize uh, capturing Sean. So I'm gonna haul those. You should probably equip that actually. The only good thing I can say, by the way, is you know, at least I don't have to worry about my dog being dead. I got a nice little, you know, opening through here to get into my base now, I guess. So no longer have to wander as far to get, you know, through stuff. Gonna have to build defenses there, I guess. Improvised turrets to make a little kill box. Right, Ren is my do other doctor, so I guess he's gonna do some doctoring. Um, this guy, he's a hard worker and he's a jogger. At least he's not bad at construction and other stuff, so he's worth recruiting, I guess. Though he's at 99%, so it's going to be a long while before I get him. Spork, you should prioritize treating mana right now. Quite unfortunate. I suppose I could end the let's play because I'm technically dead, so I won't shouldn't be playing. But whatever, we'll keep playing for now. We'll see how long Spork, Mana, Boss Galaga, and Ren survive. And you know what? Let's just do this. You can, if I get Sean, you can like name him perhaps. Ren will just be called. Oh, let's see here. Swift and dead. So I recently started washing my stuff. There's a character for you. John's no longer incapable, that's good. If someone gets to it, they should strip him. That's one bad thing after a bad raid. Everyone gets injured in the, you know, spork basis is a treating people. I might need to send spork into battle soon because uh, I don't have enough, you know, defenders and attackers. To not really be sending them, you know, not sending them. Oh, I'm awful self-tamed. That's nice. Is that a nice little spot for him to go? Someone can start training him too, I guess. Sport can start training him when he gets a chance. So I guess Boss Galaga only took a few minor injuries. That's good. Matt wasn't so lucky, but whatever. Mind that out so we can get around if we need to. I guess we should probably cancel building this stuff in here because you know it's not prison. This guy's gonna have a nice space on uh, spatial interior though, so he should be shouldn't be you know too pissed about stuff. Oh, Spiffin' got food poisoning. That's the bad thing about not having a you know, good cook. People get food poisoned all the time.
Oh, he's feeling mad. That's why he's moving over here. That's why I'm. Where's where he taking that meal? Oops. Apparently, he insulted. Uh, but slayed by mana. Yeah, they get a negative relations with these guys every so often. Now he's gonna go field Sean, that's fine, he can go do that. Boss Galaga's apparently gonna do some uh, cleaning, that's fine. Might as well make this my home area now, because you know, it is my home area. All out here. All the blood, you know, I have to get rid of all that blood. What's that game where you're on a spaceship and you're cleaning off after, like, you know, the heroes basically killed all the aliens? Pretty much that's what Boss Galg is basically up to right now. And let's prioritize burying him, too. Oops, man's throwing up. He's not having a good day. I guess uh, Sporking I went to try and sustain the Muffle a little bit, or train it. Didn't get anywhere, oh well. Why is there so much blood over here? Is this Timber Primrose that's killing everyone or something? His tail's destroyed, he's got cracks and bruises and everything else on him. Must have went after Ebex Doe or something and got his ass handed to him. Looks like we're finally getting rid of sandstone that's there, it's fine. Spork's slowly making more limestone for building stuff. I'm gonna have to make myself a, a builder of so, uh, someone else now. I guess you got a job for yourself, Swift and Dead. You'll be building stuff. I made a lot of mana to do it because, you know, you might as well do it. Getting rid of this rock rubble over here, that's fine. Gonna kind of stare mass sleep, I guess that's okay. That's one bad thing about prioritizing like cleaning and our stuff. Basically, it'll go clean, go back, clean, go back, stuff like that will happen. Nothing to really do about it, though. I could actually make it better, but whatever. Alright, man is fully healed. Excellent. He's gonna do some building for us. Because that's all he can really do for us, I guess, right now. Or what he really needs to do right now. I don't think Sean's got anything to worry about infection-wise. He's been treated already, so he shouldn't have much problems with, like, you know, stuff happening. It really shows that you need a good cook, you know, in these games sometime. So you don't have food poisoning, ever get any food poisoning out left and right, but oh well. Sean's fully healed, that's great. He can start to be recruited now. I guess I should probably look into getting, you know, some, uh, stain lamps and our stuff in here. Hmm. We'll build those right there. Right there. Eventually I'll probably move that, but whatever. It's fine for now. I'll have to run some power comments up here at some point, but whatever. We'll get to that eventually. So yeah, look at that recruit chance. Basically, when you have like 99% chance of, you know, difficulty, you're going to have like a very low chance of basically recruiting people. Not much to do about it. Except just try, try, try. I 
So let's just do it like that. We're gonna get rid of this stuff here. Fill all that right there. Not sure it's close enough to get to that one, but whatever. They'll start building those up and then, you know, he'll have some lights in there, Sean. He'll be pretty happy with those lights, I think. Yeah, they're really not prioritizing like any specific room, but oh well. Also, construction failed, but whatever. Whoop! All right, he tries to escaping here, this guy. Um, boss, how about you try to uh, stop him? Oh, that's what happened. They basically, you know. The stupid steel here. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just set this to be prisoner bed right here. Boss. Go arrest him. Yeah, that's something I know. If there's like, you know, an opening for these guys to get away, he's gonna get away. Let's take him over to your room. And into bed he goes. And we'll just get, you know, stain lamps in here at some point. Just a couple probably do. There we go. That'll probably do it. Actually, let's do it like this. That might work better going that way. Well, I guess this is probably a good time to, like, you know, end this episode. Kind of abrupt how it's, like, you know, just gonna end here. Start construction, bang, I'm dead. Oh well, that's what happens in this game. Shit happens. There's the auto save. So I'll save and quit the menu. And I'll see you guys next time.